Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Genshin Impact. This shit, if you've been subscribed to me on this channel, follow me on Twitch or in my Twitter or Discord, um, you know how strongly I feel about this game. Uh, this is a game that actually got me to not just start a game and just grind the fuck out of it for like 48 hours and then make a YouTube video like I generally do. I decided to play this game like, get this, a normal fucking human being because this is a game that I haven't really experienced anything like before, except for the Breath of the Wild, Elephant in the Room. Yeah, a lot of people consider this shit to be a rip of the Breath of the Wild. Uh, do I agree to some points? Yes. Uh, Graphics-wise, there is a lot of similarities. Uh, Genre-wise, for sure. Uh, combat, I disagree. Story, all that shit. There, there are, there's a lot of similarities, but there are, are a lot of differences. Um, it's also been kind of called the phone killer. <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking mobile game, which is really weird because we haven't really seen anything on this level before, on the phone before, uh, and a lot of people are worried if it's going to run on their systems. Um, in my opinion, in order to push the boundaries, I mean, somebody at the end of the day had to fucking make a game that was going to be as graphically intense because, dude, I'm fucking tired of playing these fucking disgusting-ass-looking mobile games all the time. Now, it's different when it's done stylistically, uh, like, for example, Arknights, where they do 2D, like, intentionally, but... It's really gross when you just know they're making it look shit because they want it to be as universal as possible in order to net the most profit. Yes, I, 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 it's, I understand it's a business and you need to make profit, but like, Jesus Christ, man. Some games like Hero Wars, I mean, that shit looks like dog shit. Some of y'all might be caught off guard because some of y'all might have thought that this was just a very fancy looking wallpaper for the game. But no, uh, everything that you were seeing is something that you can get to, which is pretty damn insane uh yeah uh, i mean the game is absolutely beautiful um and yeah this game is a gotcha game now i was talking earlier about making as much profit as possible um but this game feels entirely incredibly free to play which in my opinion is a big mistake um there are ways you can spend money on this game you know i haven't really seen anything on the stamina system yet uh, i think there is one for the dungeon system but uh, other than that, I mean, if you take this game at like a leisurely pace, which you don't really need to take it any way else, because I don't believe there's any PvP yet. I believe it's solo or co-op uh, in some instant scenarios, uh, which I will be grinding the fuck out of. Um, it's just the, 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 the financial system, man. It's just like, it's really fucking friendly. I feel like this game would have been dope if it was released like one time for like 40 bucks and you just like get everything. But, uh, I mean, that's, like, the big gray area for the game for me is, like, dude, how is this game going to fucking make money? Now, that's not my problem, okay? That's Mahoyo's problem. Me, as a consumer, I'm just kind of sitting here being, like, why wouldn't I recommend this to all my friends? Why wouldn't I play this shit? Like, this game, in my opinion... Seems just like a really dope game that's going to come out sometime in 2020. The release date is vague, other than the fact that it's supposed to be coming out in 2020 uh, globally. And it just seems like a game that when it first comes out is going to be dope as shit for like a month and a half. And then after that, as the content updates come out, then you go and revisit yada, yada, yada. That's the big vibe that I get out of this game. And uh, yeah, going back to the profit models for the gotcha, um, so far it is very, very, very generous, but also not really needed. You can definitely play who you want to play. That being said, there are definitely synergy among certain units of certain archetypes. For example, um, each unit that you use, for example, my Razor is a lightning type, and you can use lightning on units that are covered in water in order to increase fucking, or uh, to do certain status effects in order to have uh, different um, mechanics of the game. Let me see if I can show you real quick. So let's see. We got these two units right here. So you can see right here, slap a fuck. I'm like level 19. Okay, so I shit on them. But I assure you, if they were wet, uh, which I'll probably have some B-roll going right now, uh, when they're wet, you hit them, and because I'm electric, it'll fucking stun them. It has, like, that group, like, synergy, and you can synergize with the environment as well as your fucking team, which keeps the combat really fucking fresh. Not to mention, each time you don't play as a single unit, you play as four different units. For example, I have Jean, who's hot as fuck, Amber, who's sweet as fuck, Razor, who is literally a JoJo's character, which hopefully I get to show soon, and then we have Kaya, who I'm using him because I thought he was a sexy chick, but in reality, he's actually a dude, and that's probably my biggest gripe with this game, is that this game keeps on making me think dudes are really hot because I think they're girls, and it's really pissing me off. Anywho, yeah, 
it's cool because whenever you pull a new unit, you're actually shifting your entire team with the way that they synergize, the way that you play. And each time you go into a new environment, that also shifts the way that you play and how you interact with the world around you, which is really fucking cool. Another big reason why I like this game, and I'm just going to kind of explore the world while I talk to you all about this stuff is that it really is something that you can take at your own pace. We kind of live in a world where mobile games, especially the gacha variety, are very go, 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 go. If you miss a day, you're just out of the fucking dog race. And that's the type of shit that leads to excessive spending and just really unhealthy lifestyles. But this is a game you can truly take at your own pace. And I don't mean to sound like I'm totally selling out because this fucking shit isn't sponsored. I mean, it'd be cool if it was, but it's fucking not. And I don't fucking care if it's not. But, uh... It's just, I'm so tired of having to compete. Like, this is definitely a game you take at your own pace, and you just get this. Fucking enjoy. Now, a lot of y'all might be noticing already, like, the little stamina system, which is very reminiscent of Breath of the Wild. Um, it does seem very low right now, uh, but the more you explore the world and get to see the environment around you, the more of these little crystals that you can pick up, and the more um, you can increase your characters and your overall stamina pool around you. Now, the other thing you might be wondering is that this game looks pretty fucking big. Am I really gonna walk... Am I really gonna wanna walk all over that fucking cliff in front of me to go up there to kill three slimes to get a quest objective? Well, there is also a fast travel system to where you don't really need to worry about that shit. And also some nice save points in order to like refill your energy, refill your health, all that jazz. Uh, like little little key points that you can teleport to, which I'll show off here once this beautiful cutscene that I've seen a million times <laughs> stops. Because we'll go right here, uh, we'll tap M, and then as you can see right here, we have like these little waypoints that you can teleport to. So yeah, fast travel was implemented. Now you might be seeing this world right now, well this is about maybe 30% of the entire map uh, that you can get to on a base level, and then you can go even deeper further uh, via more towns and more dungeons and all that shit. There is co-op dungeon battles, uh, which I'm really fucking excited for. I don't want to spoil it too much because I will be making follow-up videos. Uh, for like the dungeons and the combat mechanics and all that shit in the next coming days. So if you do want to see more of the Genshin, uh, make sure to subscribe um, if you haven't already. And just know I do appreciate every new subscription to the channel. It means the fucking world to me. Thank you all so much. But yeah, uh, the game, it, it does seem very, very, very promising. Um, at a base level for what we have right now, pre-update, it does seem like a very, like, full game. It doesn't feel like, like, when you start the game, it doesn't feel like after a couple days you'll be in a drought. Maybe in a month or a month and a half, you'll definitely cap out to a point. But other than that, it definitely does seem like a full fucking game, which is a great feeling uh, comparatively to other games that I've played in the past where it does feel incomplete on launch, which does suck. It does feel like a lot of love uh, went into this game. Now, the other thing is, I did mention hero polls, where you, like, each time you get a new character, um, you know, it changes the combat entirely. Well, there is also gotcha uh, for weapon polls, which I'll showcase uh, right here. And honestly, so far, I don't mind it. This is the type of shit uh, that I love. Like, this will definitely be a grindy aspect. Something that you can ship forward towards every day, like min-maxing your weapons, uh, what's best on who, uh, like what suits each play style, all that shit. Um, it, this is definitely a system that does have longevity, which is really fucking nice because it does suck when you like you get on and you do feel like there's nothing really meaningful that you can do, but this will be a system that you can always work towards. And it's not as cancerous as a lot of people might think uh, comparatively to other uh, mobile uh, weapon grindy. Like there is a fucking rune system. Like, hey, look, you can call it weapons. You can call it artifacts. It's a fucking rune system. Okay? It's a fucking rune system. That's just the way that it is, but it's really... It's actually pretty damn nice, and it does feel exciting, because get this, when you get a new weapon, it's not like, oh, now you get 200 attack. It's like, no, now you get, like, 800 or 200 attack. doesn't fucking matter. The number is... It's meaningless, but it actually ju does change the um, the appearance of the weapon that you use in-game, which is cool, because then you get new shit cosmetically and also, like, uh, stat-based, which is cool, because uh, then you get to look cooler and also do more damage. That being said, don't fucking consider the cosmetics to be a fucking paywall. Because they're fucking not. Okay? Fuck. There's so much shady shit to talk about mobile games. I'm like, oh, this has this. But it's not like this, though. Some of y'all will get what I fucking mean. You know fucking paid skins. The fucking debacle and drama behind that shit. Uh, but yeah. First impressions. Really fucking solid. Um, 
definitely going to be a contender for mobile game of the year, 100%. Um, this is going to have some really fucking stiff competition. Because, um, you know, Ark Knights is out. Genshin Impact is out. Sinnoh Alice is coming out. And I know this isn't a mobile game, but Blue Protocol is coming out later. And I'll be covering all those games. But uh, for right now, it's a nice bush. <laughs> for right now, I'm loving every second of this game. And it's pretty damn unreal. Um, and I guess the last thing that I want to say before this is um, there is... Uh, English only voice acting right now. Once again, all this shit is subject to change because it is CBT. But um, it's nice because the text and the voice lines and the narrative in this game are very self aware. Um, a lot of these mobile game companies don't really give a shit about the dialogue, but you can tell that a lot of thought and care went into the story and the dialogue of this game. And the jokes in this game are actually fucking jokes. They're not cringe. Like, there is very good humor and very, like, compelling uh, a narrative in this game which is something that's very important to me um i know this video will probably feel a little bit different than my other videos uh because this game already feels very personal to me kind of like an animal crossing type um but regardless i hope none of y'all get confused i'm really fucking excited about this game and this shit looks mad fucking clean so hey i know a lot of y'all didn't get the chance to try the cbt feel free to subscribe to me on uh, youtube and follow me on twitch if you want to see more i'll be streaming the fuck out of this game after this video goes live um, just to give anybody the opportunity to see more of this game if they want to. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, more videos to come. And, uh, hope you give my channel a chance. Anywho, I've been Techno and y'all have been great. Hope you're having a good one. Peace.